greater glory of God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, praise be to God. I am Sheen James and this is my wife Dahlia. We are from Toronto. I am working in IT field and my wife is a home baker. By God's grace, we came into MFC Fellowship seven years back. And we want to share our experience after coming to this family fellowship and getting to learn more about our loving God. His unconditional love is exemplified in John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. On the personal front, from being a namesake Christian going for Sunday Mass fulfill the obligation, God has granted me the grace through MFC Fellowship to be more aware and experience the awesome presence of our Lord in the Holy Mass and our daily lives. The conviction to surrender my desires to God's will and check with Him through the Word, the decisions of the plans I need to make on this earthly life. Checking with Him has enabled me to be free and less worried on the consequences as I realize that He is in full control. In our family, we are blessed with four loving children and the MFC community has been strengthening us through their prayers in this journey of welcoming more children into our lives. In our church, God has strengthened us through the fellowship of MFC to take more responsibilities in whatever small ways we can. This is a drastic change from what we used to be, shying away from God's work or doing anything for the church. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. Luke chapter 1 49 Ever since we joined MFC, we are experiencing this word of God in our everyday life, in our relationship and our areas, other areas of life. Uh, for many years, when we used to have a misunderstanding or difference of opinion, uh, we used to uh, stop all the communication between us. This increased our pain and affected both of us and our kids. So for the early years, when we used to go for the household meetings and common meetings, uh, I used to think why we should go for these meetings when there is no change in our uh, some areas of life. But uh, through various sessions and through our MFC elders, Jesus has slowly opened our hearts to give first priority to Him and to seek His kingdom first. So gradually, the rough areas in our life were smoothened and we were able to accept each other's shortcomings and love each other more and more. As she mentioned, uh, two years back, uh, our fourth child was born. Uh, throughout the pregnancy period, we were covered with a lot of prayer and physical support from MFC to Andrew. I must admit that our journey of ours or the journey of ours is far from complete. Our loving God continues to work on us and we realize how much more we have to allow ourselves to be submitted to His will. We pray for the grace to continue on this path of truth and life and in those trying moments when we deviate from it, God's mercy to enable us to return back to His loving arms. To summarize, the change in realization from looking for a pain-free living prior to MFC, to experiencing joy in suffering, to realize that Christian suffering is a God-given blessing, to sharpen our rough edges and to make us more attuned to God's will, to allow our egos to be humbled, to accept our shortcomings, and to cling to Him for the strength. To prioritize godly ways rather than worldly ways. All these learnings have come through MFC Fellowship that we are trying to inculcate in our lives. Thank you for listening and God bless each of you abundantly from His riches.